Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, um, I will be showing you guys how to make a um, NPC spawner. I'm in a game here. This game does not matter, and it will not be part of the video. Well, except for right now. But, I've been working on this game in secret, and I'm just showing you how the spawner works. So, well, we're going to be making NPC spawners today. I'm not sure if I said that. We're going to be making two different variants. Um, so, you can see, they're going to come out. They're not going to be coming out at a certain time. They're just going to be coming out always. You can add that yourself. But you can see they're just coming out. They're going to make two types. Um, if you want to see the first type where only... The first type will only implement one... Or only spawn in one type of zombie. Or whatever you want to spawn in NPCs. It will only spawn in one type. So let's just say the basic zombie here. It will only spawn in that. And the... Um... The second type is going to do what it's doing right now and spawn in uh, randomly um, all three of these zombies. So, yeah, let's just get right into the video. Alright guys, so I'm here in a brand new base play and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do um, both parts. Also, I forgot to say, um, subscribe because at 100 subscribers I'll be giving away a 1,000 Robux. So subscribe and join the group to enter. Um, and... Yeah, let's just get into it. I already have. Uh, so part one we're going to do first. I was testing it out. That's why I have this here. Alright, so first of all we're going to go to images and I'm just going to find a zombie. Just so that way I can do this here. Alright, I'm going to just make a part first actually. I'm going to change the brick color to red. And anchor to true. And I can just go ahead and rename it spawner. Oh, speaking of spawners, I need to have the game spawner. Alright, there we go. I'm going to spawn right here. And I'll search a zombie. And there we go. And then, of course, I'll set the... Where is it? Okay, I can't find it. Oh, I'm not on the right thing. Um, Alright, I'll set the face to top. And there we go. What if I change the color? I don't think anything happens. Yeah, nothing happens. Alright. And there we go. We have our spawner block right here. So, we're going to insert a script into it. Oh, first we need to find a zombie. I'll just copy this. I cut it actually. And then, uh, models. Alright. Drooling zombie. There we go. <coughs> Alright, so we have our drooling zombie here. We're going to in insert it to replicated storage and yeah there you go so first of all I'm gonna make it so it has no spaces alright so we're going to do local spawner equals script dot parent and now we're going to create a uh, loop or a f uh, yeah a loop so we can either do a uh, Wow, true loop or true loop or a wait loop. I'm gonna do a true loop for now. Alright, wow, true do. And we're going to do local zombie. Alright, so part one is only gonna summon one zombie over and over again, but then part two, there's a second way you can do this, it's going to summon um, a random zombie over and over again, so it's going to be a different one every time. Alright, so local zombie equals Rip dot oh no equals game dot replicated storage dot drooling zombie and we're going to do zombie oh no we're going to create another variable local cz for clone zombie equals uh game oh no equals zombie colon clone Alright, and then, oops. Alright. Alright, I'm fixing all this. I accidentally did. Alright, so then we're going to do cz um, dot parent equals um, game. Oh no, let's do equals workspace. Alright, and then we're going to do cz and. If it's an R15 part, you're going to uh, say upper torso, but this 
specific model is a um, R6. So I, so if it's R6, you're going to be typing torso. All right, and then dot C frame equals spawner spawner dot C frame and plus vector three dot new zero comma five comma zero so what this is here is the vector three dot new um, it's going to add the the thing here the torso is just going to be five studs higher than where it would be uh, if it just, cause I don't want it to get stuck like inside of this monitor, it can get stuck inside the map and stuff. So let's just to fix that. Oh, and if it's a wow true, we need to have weight here. If you don't, your game will crash. So I recommend saving the game uh, before you do this, just in case. Or if you don't want to risk risk it, you can always do a weight loop like this, and then just get rid of the weight here. I'll just do this. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure you have a weight if you do the true loop. Um, alright, so now, there we go, you can already see, why are they, oh, they're fighting each other, <laughs> they're, they're trying to kill each other, it's actually kind of funny, alright, well, there you go, you, there you have it, there's, there's spawners there, okay, are, are they done killing each other, they're spawning in, this isn't really a good script, though, the AI script is kind of buggy <laughs> for these guys, but, hey, it works. This, the AI script isn't the point. The point is the spawner is working. As you can see, they're spawning every second. Um, and yeah, it works. Ooh. And now on to part two. Well, it, it will spawn different types of zombies randomly instead of just one zombie. Alright, so to do this, we're just going to go to the script here and add some extra stuff. Uh, one thing we're going to do is local number equals math dot random um one oh you need to have I'm gonna get another zombie here here we go this zombie um you need to have two at least two or more different types of zombies for this one so make sure you have at least two or more all right so we're going to do one comma however many you have so the second number is going to start with one and be however many you have if you have 15 you'll type 15 if you have 102 you'll type 102 if you type if you have three you'll type three i have two so i'm just going to type two all right then i'm going to do um if number equals equals one then all right so what this does is it's going to create a random, it's going to get a random number, and if the number lands on one, just think of it like spin the wheel. If it lands on one, then this is what it's going to do. Uh, so let's see the, I'll write um, zombie, I'll write Z1, local zombie one, and see Z1 for the first zombie. Um, there you go. And then just to prove that it works, copy this. Oh no, no. Oh no. Well, yeah, we're just gonna print one. Alright. Alright, and then we're going to do else if and we can just paste this here. Uh and then it's no drooling zombie. Oh not else if then. That's <laughs> um hey. Right. If else, oh, I forgot to do else if number equals equals two, then all right, there you go, that's better. And there you go. All right, so then we're going to get just a regular zombie, and we'll set this here to zombie two, zombie two, colon, colon. CZ2, CZ2, and CZ2. And it'll basically keep doing this over and over again. Um, oh no, it will just say print number, not print one. Okay, print number. Alright, there we go. And now if we press play, 
You'll just be t basically typing that same script over and over again. Oh gosh, it's creepy. Ah, it's so fast. Um, why did that not work? Okay. Right. Okay, I do not like the sound. Zombie, can you hush, please? All right. Yeah, why is this not working? Oh, because this is an R15. Yeah, for R15, we're gonna do upper torso. And yeah, there you go. The upper torso. That's C, C frame equals smaller than C frame. All right. So now the script should hopefully work. One, see, it's getting, you can see it's printing it here. Two times two, alright, so it's getting one, two. You can see the zombies are spawning in randomly. It's just, for some reason, getting a lot of seeds. Okay, okay, these things are very loud. But as you can see, it works. The zombies spawn in randomly. Okay, this is too loud. There you go, it's better. Alright, you can see the zombies spawn in randomly for this one. And if I wanted to add a third zombie, I would just copy and paste the same script. Uh, except set the number to three and set it to a specific type of zombie. And it's just like a zombie royale. I can make a full game just watching zombies fight. That would be kind of fun to watch. But hey, can you go away, please? It works. So if you enjoyed this video and you learned something new today, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a tutorial video. Um, and join the group and uh, and subscribe to enter our 100 subscribers giveaway when you hit that. And um, also join the Discord. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.